Hey everybody, it's Bell again, and this is a follow-up video to the, the video that I made yesterday, which was about the new floating island skip. That saves 11 seconds, but it's incredibly difficult. And also, yesterday, another runner named Boost was able to take my world record using this skip. He beat my world record by 8 seconds, and he used a kind of different strategy here for floating islands that I haven't looked at yet. And I did the testing, it saves 10 seconds instead of 11 seconds, but it's much, much easier. So, Boost was able to take my world record with this uh, 10 second advantage he had from the from this Sky Island skip. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna show everybody the skip right now, which I think is the best version of the skip, and we should probably use this one unless we find something new, because this one's probably the best way to go. So here it is. And that's it. So it looks a little bit tougher, but it's actually a little bit easier for two reasons. The jump to getting to the platform is like really easy. You can easily make it with a rage jump. And the second reason why it's easier is because you have a little bit of extra, like a little bit more time to make like one little mistake. Whereas with the other method, you had you could be you had to be like completely flawless. So. With this method, you can make like a tiny little mistake. You can afford to grab a ledge maybe once if you are like super perfect the rest of the time. So it gives you a little bit more time to, you know, make mistakes. It saves 14 seconds because you actually get to the heart faster, whereas the other one only saves 11. But then you spend four seconds getting back the rage. So, <clears throat> so uh, by the way, the, you get you get the rage back in Dragon Reach. I'll show you where you get the rage back. This is the fastest way to get the rage back in Dragon Reach. So you do that heart last, and then uh, yeah, Timberdale last, and then you get the rage back right here from these two guns. That's the fastest way to get the rage back. And it only costs three seconds to get the rage, and it only costs one second. Well, it actually it costs like 3.8 seconds to get the rage, and it costs 0 0.2 seconds to do the this path instead of the regular path which is like doing a rage jump to get up right here this this path saves 0 0.2 seconds so 3.8 plus 0 0.2 about four seconds that is lost so i think this is the best way to do this trick for for now unless we find something that's faster than this so all right thanks for watching everybody